Good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs. My name's Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and I'm here this evening to do wedding cake, what am I doing Kelly? Wedding cake cookies, that's what we agreed wasn't it earlier today. Um, so I'm back from a holiday, I've had a week off and so I'm now here this evening. I uh, haven't done much cake decorating since I've got back so I'll probably be a bit all over the place this evening but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Um, I've got everything drawn out so I'm sure we will manage perfectly. And I'm not alone, I have got Kelly with me. So hello Kelly! Hi. <laughs> I left, I did take her on holiday, I took Charlotte on holiday instead and left Kelly running the business but everything seems to be okay isn't it Kel? Yeah, everything's still standing so that's all good. Um, it's very hot and um, not particularly pleasant so I hope that you're able to um, tune in and watch this evening. I have got my air conditioning on in here because it is so hot, it's unbelievable um, but hopefully you will be able to hear everything I say because otherwise it's going to be very quiet this evening. Right Kelly? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was just tr having trouble getting it to load up. Kelly's having trouble getting it to load up. Kelly, it's the weather. It's everything and the weather tonight. <laughs> it's just hot. <laughs> We're all melting. <laughs> we are literally all melting, me included. I'm glowing quite nicely, I think. I'm not only under the lights, but under the heat as well. So, um, but we are here, we are back. Now, um, normally on Sugar and Crumbs, I do two lots a week. So I'm gonna drop down to one at the moment. So I'm gonna be here every Tuesday evening at half past six. So my Thursday mornings are going to disappear for the moment, um, purely because, um, it's wedding season and it's not only normal wedding season it's double wedding season so I'm having to deal with a huge number of wedding cakes every week at the moment so between now and the end of September uh, sorry end of August um, I'm only going to be on here on Tuesdays at half past six and some Saturday mornings but I will let you know about Saturday mornings again they'll be more limited because of wedding season at the moment I am glowing <laughs> as you can see <laughs> I didn't manage to get sunburn on my holiday but you got sunburn in the back garden don't really need to do much more than that. Uh, Kelly is with me this evening. You can say hello again, Kelly. Now, hello again. Hello again. <laughs> Kelly is definitely here this evening, and we're going to have another go at cookies. So I've got lots of different techniques tonight. We've got a bit of royal icing. We've got a bit of um, sugar paste. Sugar paste. Well, sugar paste and royal icing. I was just thinking, did I get the modelling paste out? But I did. We're going to make some royal icing in a minute using whipping it up. We've got strawberry milkshake flavour tonight, so we're going to do that shortly. I don't know if we're going to get a thunderstorm here. It's extremely hot at the moment. I'm literally melting. Um, but that's what we're going to be using tonight which is Carol's whipping it up which is the icing sugar with the egg white in it we're going to make that up into icing sugar could do with a Mr Whippy right now I know where's the we did have a van going around the village Kelly I think we should need to go and find it it's just too hot it's unbelievably hot <laughs> I'm literally melting here <laughs> I'll end up in a little puddle on the floor in a minute <laughs> Um, so yes, uh, sorry, it's just someone's picked up on Thursday mornings. I will come back and do Thursday mornings, but just while I'm dealing with the wedding season, I won't be doing Thursday mornings at the moment. Um, so I'm only going to be here on Tuesday evenings. So don't worry, I will be back. <laughs> it's all going to come back. We've just got to get through wedding season at the moment because it's um, a little bit more pressure than normal because it's a, it's a double whammy, isn't it? Lots and lots of people. I had a very nice holiday. Um, I've only just started to do cakes bits and pieces again so I'm a bit all over the place at the moment we'll see how we go <laughs> I had a very nice trip to Skipton which is actually lovely I have to say it's a very nice place got to see lots of canals and lots of walking then I came home moaned about it didn't I Kelly because I was in agony <laughs> from walking up and down those mountains or whatever they are. They're not mountains, are they? But let's put it another way. I didn't think Malham Cove was actually a mountain or it certainly seemed like a big mountain. It, it, so I thought it was a, an actual cove of water, not a mountain. So I was quite shocked when I got there. Um, but I have survived. <laughs> 25 degrees in Northern Ireland. Well, that's unheard of, that is. So um, Northern Ireland never gets that warm. But it sounds nice, enjoy. It's not going to last for too long, so. Um, oh, what's it meant today? What, Northern Ireland? No. In England, oh, it's like 30 here, it's really hot. Whenever you look at the map of the UK, I'm in the bit that's the warmest bit. 32 degrees. We're 32 degrees here at the moment, so it is literally unbearable, but um, hopefully that will finish soon, won't it, Kel? Because you're not a fan of it either, are you? No, I, th to get here today was the first time I've walked outside their <laughs> house. And everybody who is dealing with cakes at the moment, you have my full sympathy, because it is just, it is the one time of year where you think, why am I doing cakes? Because especially the words cakes and buttercream and sun, all in the same sentence, a nightmare. It is just so difficult at the moment. Um, so yes, you have my full sympathy. Uh, <laughs> 20, oh, laid in Shropshire, 29 degrees in Telford. Yeah, you can see it's hot just by the sheer state of me. Right, let's get going. Let's do by some. By the end of the live, mum will be a ponytail and glasses. <laughs> 
<laughs> I will be melted by the end of it. Yeah, I'll be on the floor somewhere, so we'll, we'll pick me up at the end. Right, let's get going and make some royal icing using the Whipping It Up. So Whipping It Up is the Sugar and Crumbs product that's icing sugar and has egg white already in it, powdered egg white. And we're going to add water to it. So I'm going to make up the whole packet. Um, it's 500 grams in here, so we're going to be adding 70 grams of water. Uh, just tap water, nothing particularly complicated, and then we're going to mix it. Now, this is my... <laughs> we've broken one of the food mixes today, haven't we? Well, well it only works. <laughs> it only starts going, and I think it goes on full capacity, <laughs> if you hold it in the wall. Well, it's not. It's that you have to switch it on at the wall, because we haven't been able to switch it off. Now, this one we've got here is the only one we've got left now, so if this breaks, we've really got trouble. Then I'm going. Mom, don't tempt fate. Well, I'm not going to tempt fate. I'm just not. I'm just a bit concerned about it because we don't have a backup one anymore. I need to go and get one tomorrow. Right. Let me get the. Let's put around the edge of the table. Right. We've got my electric whisk, so we're all organised now. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I've got aircon on. I have got my air conditioning on, by the way. It's. I don't think it's too loud. I've done a live with this on before, so. Oh, well, it should be fine because last time I did a live with the air conditioning on, I was in pieces, so I had to do it. Right, let's start. So let's get the... Actually, I can't get into this. Let's find some scissors. Okay, let's open this up. There we go. And we'll pop this in. There'll be a, an icing sugar cloud in a minute. Right. Ooh, there we go. So this is strawberry milkshake. It's all going all over the place now. There we go. Let's pop that one over there. And we're going to make royal icing. So we're going to add in 70 grams of water, which I've already weighed up before I came on the live. So I'll put that over there for the moment. Now, purely for the sake of my poor phone, which is over the top of this, I'm just going to give this a little stir, otherwise we end up with a full um, snowstorm <laughs> inside my mobile phone, and then it becomes difficult, doesn't it, Kelly? So we're just going to mix this around first. Just <laughs> 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 Kelly's inhaled the icing sugar cloud. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we just mix this up a little bit. There we go. It's just to get the water in. It's just to stop it sort of creating havoc when I turn on the electric whisk in a minute. So you don't need to do this. You can do it. It's fine. Yeah, anyone who's doing buttercream at the moment, honestly, please put in a bit more ice and sugar than normal that should hold it together for you that's what I do anyway that's why the icing the buttercream bowl grew Kelly overnight yeah it's huge I know it's because I took it all out and put more icing sugar in it because it was just not holding right let's get the electric whisk going this is the one we haven't managed to break so let's all right there we go let's move these bits out of the way and then we can move this over a little bit so when you first mix this, it's always a little bit on the dark side. You can see it's a little bit on the yellowy side and then it will start to go white. So yep, this is strawberry milkshake flavour. Right, let's turn it up a bit. Yeah, my aircon is on. <laughs> you smell the strawberry milkshake over there. <laughs> Well, they've got thunderstorms in Kent. Oh, send them out away, please. <laughs> Let's turn this off for a second. So when you're mixing, um, what am I using here? Whipping it up. You see it's quite yellow to start with. So in order to make it go um, a white colour, just keep mixing it, keep beating it. If you want it to stay white, because it does dry yellow sometimes, you can add in, um, I think this works okay. This is Ingenious Edibles, which is an icing white, uh, icing and frosting whitener um, or you can use some pa um, dusting colour white as a super white that works quite well as well so you can always put that in it's only for when it dries because it does sometimes dry a little bit on the yellow side if you're trying to do some sort of flooding or anything like that with royal icing so we'll go for it a little bit more we're nearly there Right, I think we're there. So when you put your beaters in, if you go like that, it should peak. Can you see the way it's kind of standing up there? Good old snow scene for everybody that does like the Christmas cakes. Um, so that's it, that's it done. So then what we need to do is we need to get it into some storage as soon as possible. So I've got kind of a little um, plastic container here. It's actually got two sides, believe you me, there's nothing technical about this. 
it's just what I happen to buy. So <laughs> the fact it's got two compartments is completely irrelevant. <laughs> so please don't go out looking for something with two compartments, it's just not worth it. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll pop the lid on and then that will just stop it from drying out while we're there. Now don't store this in the fridge because if you store it in the fridge um, basically it will condensate and then you'll have all sorts of problems. Um, so you don't want to be storing that in the fridge. Let me grab that over there. Um, can you get me a little tiny pot of water, Kelly, please? Um, and then what we're going to do with some of the royal icing I've got here, we're just going to put that into a bowl. This is going to be our glue. Thank you, my glamorous assistant, Kelly. Let's take that out here. I'll go back onto the camera in a second. And I'll make myself a bit of space because it's all over the place here. Right, let's move that over there. I have got water, but that's for me because I couldn't speak this morning. Not because I'd done too much talking, but because it was too hot. <laughs> um, I think it could be uh, Kelly says it was because I did too much talking, but I woke this morning, I could hardly speak. I thought, what on earth's wrong with me? And um, I'm sure it's because of that. Kelly, lovely Kelly, can you get me a palette knife from over there, please? And one of those bigger brushes. No, not that. Yeah, the black one. The one with the black handle. Oh, you are good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I don't want you to get to sat still for too long, Kel. Right, here we go. So we have got some royal icing in here and I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of water because I'm gonna just make this a little bit softer. So we're gonna use this to um, stick our sugar paste down to our cookies. We're gonna make wedding cake cookies tonight. Now we did do this, or rather I did do this a couple of weeks ago. And I said to you, there's so much possibility with this that I would come back and do some more. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. I'm also gonna show you one of my new cookie cutters as well which um, has only been in a couple of days. So we'll get that out as well. So you can have a look at that. So let's just put a little bit more in, it's a bit too soft. So I've just added a little bit of extra. Not enough Mr Whippy, I know. She's, um, on Mr. Whippy this morning. I'm on Mr Whippy, what do you call it? Um, well, we don't get one round here, very rarely. If we do, I'm often seen chasing it down the road. <laughs> <laughs> if I see one anywhere, I'll say I'm gone. My cat doesn't like it, does he? No. If the ice cream van comes round, my cat goes absolutely mad. He hates it. Right, okay, let's get our cookies over. Let's move that there. I've got everything around me tonight, literally. Please don't drop this, Tracy. So we're going to do some royal icing, some painting, all sorts of bits and pieces to do with this tonight. And actually, before I go too much further, because I have forgotten to tell you, is I am teaching live tomorrow evening. I know it's very warm, but I'm going to do this. Um, we're going to be doing, what have I done with it? There it is, lavender. So we're painting this tomorrow. So if you want to have a go at doing this live tomorrow, I'm going to get Kelly just to put the link up. On it. She's on it. Um, this is a class that's actually being done tomorrow live um, from uh, on a closed Facebook group. So if anybody wants to join me tomorrow night, it's seven pound fifty. Kelly's going to put a link up for you shortly, but I forgot to mention that at the start. But yeah, we're painting lavender tomorrow evening. It's a live class. It starts at half six, and we're done by around about eight o'clock. There we go. Kelly's put the link up for you. So if you want to have a go and paint along with me, you can. Or if you just want to watch it, that's fine too. If you want to have a go at it at the weekend when it's a little bit cooler, you can do that as well. So there's all sorts of, you don't have to do it tomorrow night. But if you would like to join me tomorrow night, then that class is running. I forgot to mention it. Right, okay, let's move things around. I'm just putting things out of the way here. Looking very organised. <laughs> let's move that across like so so we're going to look at our wedding cake cutter so that was the one there it is so this is my new tall wedding cake cutter I'm going to put that there actually so I've got some space um, and I've had this design because a lots of the wedding cake cutters are very short so I found the lots of the wedding cakes now are tall so I've had this one designed so it is taller because it makes more sense in, in my world so if you look at this um, these represent the taller tiers on the wedding cakes which is what we've done here so we've made some cookies now I did do this about two weeks ago and um, I have got those examples here if you miss that live you can also go to YouTube and you can watch it on my YouTube channel as well um, everything I do on sugar and crumbs gets uploaded to YouTube so you can always go and watch that as well um, but we're going to start tonight and I've got various designs next to me I try and draw them out you see <laughs> there is a sort of a plan to this so we're going to start with some sugar paste let's put that down there so we can be a bit more central um, now I've got some satinara it actually doesn't matter what sugar paste you use anything is absolutely fine but this is what I've got this evening um, 
the logic with me is it's whatever I happen to pick up at the time. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Okay, lovely. Now we're going to aim to try and do about four or five, but we're going to just see how it goes. If we overrun, we overrun. We'll work around it eventually. So I'm going to move those out of the way for the moment while I just get this rolled out. So Satanara, just going to give it a little bit of a need to start with. I'm going to have to take that to have a quick drink actually it's so hot in here yeah okay but yeah the lavender class is tomorrow evening at half past six so say if you can't make it you can always buy into the class after tomorrow the class is going up to 10 pounds um, so if you want to book onto it you need to do it before the class is done otherwise it's going back up to normal price and you can join me for a a little bit of live painting so it's all cocoa butter painting if you don't have any that's okay it doesn't matter you can watch it and then if you want to get some cocoa butter and some dusting colors later on you can always do that so that's all fine right let's give this a bit of a roll there we go don't want this to be too thick i should get a bit of blue on there but that's okay we'll cut around that so we're going to do some painted ones, some royalised ones. We'll just have a go, do some different ones with some blue in it. Right, so let's make sure before we cut out that there is some icing sugar on here so it's, it moves. Because if it doesn't move, there you go. If it doesn't move, then you're going to find that when you cut your shape out, it starts to distort. So I'm going to take hold of our cutter and we're going to press it down. And give it a little bit of a wiggle. Can you hear that noise? And then we're going to just take it out like so. Now, what I'm going to do, we're doing these with sugar paste. We're not doing them with royal icing. I've done some royal icing ones yesterday. Um, we're going to put some pictures up of those. We're going to do some little YouTube videos on those later on. But for the moment, we're just um, dealing with the sugar paste ones because we can decorate these quite quickly. So, someone's just asked a question about how, yeah, how um, long. Just, how long do they keep? Nikki says that she's left them for a week and they're fine. Yeah. But they have just got butter and egg in them so they should easily be fine easily be fine for a week at least if like for example i'm doing wedding ones this week and we started them sunday monday tuesday wednesday and they should just having them on thursday so yeah easily a week you're never going to be able to make hundreds of cookies at the last minute so they're going to be fine this mix that i'm putting on here if this mix is really really wet it's going to make your cookie go a bit softer so just don't make it too soft it's actually quite dry it's a glue and that's what you need to be doing all right so don't try and do anything else with it just try and keep it fairly dry and then all we're going to do is pick this up really carefully and we're just going to pop it on like so so we're going to do a few of these because we've got a few white designs lined up okay let's do another one so we'll get these all ready press this down some we're going to paint completely and you see me moving it around that's cutting the edges so you don't get what cake decorators like to call hairy edges so we won't be getting any of those right let's pick up another one of these and the brush you can stick cookies um, together with piping gel the problem with piping gel it doesn't completely set so you've always got this problem um, with it potentially not holding everything in place. Royal icing is going to set everything under the sun, so I love royal icing. I would go for royal icing every time without fail. Right, let's pop that one on, like so. Line it all up. Right, let's do the next one. So we'll do, how many have I got lined up here? Okay, let's do four to start with, see how we go. That bit of blue is in the middle, it's annoying me now. Let's take that out of the way and we'll re-roll it much better. There we go. Put that on there. I haven't got a huge bit of sugar paste here. I probably could have got a bit more out and probably been a bit quicker, but never mind. It doesn't matter. We've got time. I haven't got a leap off for a football match or anything tonight. <laughs> That's what we used to do, isn't it, Kelly? Mm. And so we haven't got to do that tonight. So, we're going to have a go with some of the 
the car I'm going to call them the Carol Special Dusts. We're going to have a go with some of those tonight as well. There's one particular one she's got that I'm very keen on. And I now hope I've actually managed to get it here with me. Have I picked it up? Yes, I have. So there's one particular dust that I think works really well with the wedding cakes. And it's called Sparkling Gold. And it's one of Carol's Wonder Dusts. And I would say if that's a, a gold, it's such a nice gold colour and I've really liked it so far and all, all the things I've done with it. So have a look out for that one. Um, it's called Sparkling Gold. Carol's got it on her website on Sugar and Crumbs. So as she has got Satinara as well. So I'm sure if you want that, you can go across to there. Right. Right, the wedding cake cutter is on my website. Now I've been designing cookie cutters now for quite a period of time. We've got, I think it's 32 now, um, different cutters. So Kelly will put you the link up for the wedding cake cookie cutter. She'll do that for you in a second if she hasn't done it already. Yeah, yeah don't put them in the fridge. Yeah, someone's just mentioned store. No, not the, oh, what are you talking about? Cookies? cookies, yeah, don't store your cookies in the fridge. Don't store anything in the fridge, honestly. It just becomes a real issue. So I think people think it's, it's really hot so they start putting things and in. don't put the cookie cutters in the dishwasher yeah don't put these in the dishwasher because they will not survive all right they're 3d printed and the joy of these is that we can get exactly what shape we want really really quickly um, but if you put these in the dishwasher you're going to have a few problems with them so don't do that all right just hand wash them and they'll be fine okay so I've done loads and loads of work on cookie cutters this year. I have loved it to bits actually, to be honest with you. There's so much you can do. I'm going to do one more because of all these designs I've got lined up here. And we're not in a massive hurry tonight. So one more. There we go. They're going to look fab, aren't we? I've got another, how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got eight different ones already made that you can have a look at at the end. As I say, you can look over to YouTube and you'll find it all on there. Have a little look at them all. I think this is the thing is with this cutter as well and somebody else uh, mentioned this a few weeks ago is you can actually use this for like birthdays as well it doesn't have to be for just weddings so if you haven't got a you know if you're not doing a wedding for somebody or you can always use this as a birthday cake if I was thinking of those kind of like superhero ones like Marvel and um, what do you have on those Marvel ones like spider-man level and then you have a what are the Marvel characters? Like Hulk. That Hulk. Hulk at the top. What's the other one? They normally put Batman vs Justice League. That's the one. Iron Man. Iron Man's the other one. So you could have three different layers of something else like that. Um, so anything like that really um, would work well with something like this. There we go. Just make sure you cut it. That's the number one thing you've got to do is make sure you cut right through. Otherwise you get the good old hairy edges. We talk about hairy edges in cake world not nice right a little bit more and then we're there and we're all set up then and we can start doing our magic with them so we're gonna some will be really quick and some will take a little bit of time so you might find that some of these maybe take a little bit longer than others but don't forget we're only doing one of each one if you were doing 20 of the same one you would do them a lot lot quicker than how we're going to do them purely because you would just be doing all of those at the same time and then you would all start and continue with that right so one of the things we're going to use tonight is our lovely patchwork cutters so we're going to use this one here now this is the heart cutter this is the smallest patchwork cutter that i'm going to hold it up so you can see it um, that they do so it's patchwork cutters there and what we're going to do is we're just going to take one of these and we're going to place that over the top like so so you've got a bit of a garland kind of coming down on this cake here we're just going to press it in so i've done quite a lot of work with patchwork cutters um, and it's brilliant if you're just learning how to do Ooh, there we go I'm just gonna press that back in again just to make sure I've got all that's the joy of this as well you can literally just press it back in you can feel it kind of drop there you go so we've got a nice little pattern on there if I hold that up there you'll be able to see it and then we're going to be able to paint that shortly so you can see that on there so that's all marked on that's patchwork cutters hearts Parts. and then that's that one. So put that one now the other thing I'm going to do with some of these is I'm going to split them up yeah the patchwork cutters are nice aren't they so what well, we're going to take one of these which is a cutting wheel and we're just going to come across here like that so we can start dividing these into three tiers we're going to do that on that one there as well so we've got our three tier wedding cake 
going design on that one. So that one's ready, prepared. Um, that one we're piping, so I'm just going through what we're doing here. So I'm just going to put these lines in here as well on this one. I've got drawings next to me of what they're all meant to look like. <laughs> Whether that actually means anything, I don't know. <laughs> um, right, okay, that one's got flowers on it, so that's okay. But we'll still put the lines on anyway, just so we've got them around the right way. So we'll put lines on all of them and then I know what I'm doing then, don't I? One of these is, let me just double check. Now one I did the other week was actually a replica of the wedding cake that I was actually doing that week. So that was actually quite nice. I'm gonna try and do one of this week's one, but we'll have to see how it goes, see how much time we get with all of this. Um, now we're gonna try and do this one here with a bit of a ruffle. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I've got some Saracino, Saracino, however you like to say it, modeling paste here. So what we're going to do, I'm just gonna cut this open. And when you get this stuff, it can be really, really hard. It's actually not too bad at the moment because the weather is warm. It's got cocoa butter in it, which makes it, um, actually it's normally a lot, lot harder than that. So it's actually softer than usual. Now, if it becomes really, really difficult, you can kind of pop it into the microwave um, and then you'll be able to soften it up a bit. Now, we're going to give this a bit of a knead. We're gonna just do um, kind of like a ruffle effect um, very sort of similar to some of the cakes that normally looks very busy across here. We're going to have a go at doing that. So we're going to roll this out. We don't need huge amounts of this. People will know what I mean when I start doing this. You'll be going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what that means. Do you know the one thing I forgot to get out, Kelly? Was, what? No, it's all right. I'm going to have to leap across there in a minute. I know. I forgot to get my sponge out. And if I send you a walking across there, you might not come out again. <laughs> <laughs> so you can roll out. Um, this very very thin much thinner than you can with um, sugar paste what I normally say is always to say to my students is roll it out so you can see the tablecloth through it so we're not quite there yet you should be able to roll it out so you can see the pattern through Let's see if we can go a little bit further you can just about see just about me being off camera as well um, where that is there so it's quite thin Let's turn that around right let's put some more of this down so it's not sticking we don't want it sticking to everything a tiny bit more up here now I may have to just go and leap across the other side of the room to get my cutter hold on let me go and have a quick look Kelly you can start talking <laughs> I can start talking um... you can talk about anything well, maybe. Um, I don't have anything to talk about. Not, not this week. Not this Actually, week. Just get put a sponge. We'll be okay. We we'll use this little bit. Sorry, it's so boring of me. <laughs> I haven't had any. Oh, that's a lie. I made brownies. I was about to say I haven't had any chocolate today. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a good day if we haven't had chocolate. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's move that back a little bit. Right, so I've just got a little sponge here. It's not my usual one, but it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be okay. And if not, we'll do something else. So, let me put, let's find a ball tool here. I have placed a modeled figure in the fridge as it was hot and it started to sweat and it looks a little sad. I've used half modeling paste, half fondant. How do people manage the heat? Don't put it in the fridge. That's the number one thing. Don't put any sugar paste in it. As number two, this it's just too hot. You need to keep full modelling paste um, and don't use the fridge. Don't use the fridge for anything apart from literally setting things for like chocolate. chocolate, yeah, uh, maximum like a couple of hours because otherwise it honestly it would just make do more damage than it will do good. So yeah, that's my advice to you. All right, what have I got here? That cut will do. Okay. Right, so we're going to take one of these blossom cutters here. There we go. And we're just going to take that like that. Now, the plan of action might be, it's either this one or the other one. It might be the other one, actually. Let's try this tool here. Is to go round and round and round and turn this. We need a few of these to do this. Let's see how we get on. Let's put them all on there. So they're quite thin. Let's see how quick we can do this. 
Am I still on camera? Yes, I am. I didn't get to go on holiday. Oh God, I, do you know what? I saw that comment and I thought, oh, here we go. Kelly, any minute now is gonna say she didn't go on holiday with me. I didn't go on holiday with Mum. <laughs> I left you at home, Kelly. I was running a business and I was working <laughs> What, 22 and a half hours at a bubble tea shop? Yeah, you were left here to run the business, Kelly, and you did a brilliant job. Here to fend for myself. <laughs> well, no, your dad's here, so you're not fending for yourself completely, are you? So what's happening here is that the modelling paste against the sponge and the, I was going to work, it's called a dog bone tool, actually. Um, hear me, dog bone tool, just take it and go round. They're just going to stand up, or you're going to throw it on the table like i've just done it's very hot in here despite the air conditioning so we're just going to go around like that can you see they're all kind of standing up and then what we'll do is we will start taking some of this icing again i'll just go across there yeah i've had kelly doing a couple of lives now and i oh, can no, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna get the youtube page up again. she's very big and brave now aren't you kelly right yeah. so what we're going to do with this one and let's move this out of the way and then how should we stick these on we're just going to take these and we're going to kind of muddle them up so what i don't want to do is create any lines particularly you'll know what i mean when you see this it's like one of those kind of ruffly type cakes that take literally hours to do but when you see it on your order form and you think oh no <laughs> oh no not that one well, well, I do anyway, I'm sure other people must think the same. It's hard work. It can take hours to get round these cakes. It's much quicker if you do it with a cookie. Okay. Just going to shift them around a little bit. I'll shift that in there. Right, let's go back to this. Put that there. <laughs> You're going on about your sister going on holiday with me now. <laughs> Yeah, too bloody right. It is child labour. <laughs> Fending for myself. I nearly choked on my water then, Kelly. Karma for going on holiday <laughs> without me. Oh, Kelly, I missed you. They missed you, really. That's what they did on here. Right, nearly there. I'll tell you what these are good for. If you do... Um, like a treat box or something you know if you do a nice present for somebody who's getting married maybe and you want to do a like a feature wedding cake this works out quite well but again you can do these really quickly i mean i tend to faff about a little bit more when i'm on a live just so you can see it um at a reasonable pace <laughs> are you still going on about child lying kelly man no. you, you are i know what you're like and then i didn't get paid in chocolate no she got paid in money <laughs> Right, let's put a little bit more on there because we're losing a bit of the sticks. It's so hot in here that this, even the royal icing is drying out quicker than we can get it stuck down at the moment. So we're going to stick those on there like that. This is like the type of thing that you would give someone if, or like have at a wedding, like on the table. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, sorry. Did it? Oh. I was, I was finding links. I promise I pay attention. I know you do. You're a good girl. So yeah, you can just, you know, people, they'll know what I mean when they see this look, it's like, oh no, I've got one of these coming up as well for a wedding, and believe you me, it's not going to take me a few minutes like it's taken me now. Someone asked, what's the best way to attach chocolate guitars to fondant in heat? Attach what? Chocolate. I attach my chocolate gun, um, guitar, royal icing. Royal icing, everything. But just make sure, maybe make the royal icing thicker, add less water. You could do, so but like royal icing honestly is the answer because it doesn't melt. Royal icing is the key. Your royal icing is your concrete, to be honest, in cake world. So even if it's made of chocolate, stick it on with royal icing. It's industrial. There we go, we're nearly there. This one. And then we'll go round again. And we go. There's just enough pressure in this little bit of sponge just to kind of make these stand. I think that should be it. I don't know, maybe a few more. I'm nearly there anyway. Pop those in. The idea with this is you're trying to mim mimic somebody's wedding cake, isn't it? That's what you're trying to do. And if anyone hasn't seen one of these cakes, well, 
not. Yeah. Do people have engagement parties? Is that still a thing? Mm, not so much these days. Say they'd be good for an engagement party. I had, um, I did, I did one engagement, Kate, didn't I? And we're going to the wedding, aren't we? Are we? Yes, we oh, are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. You remember Free now. Free food, lots of chocolate and cake. She's coming dancing with me, aren't you, Cal? Oh, I don't like dancing. It'd be me and Dad sitting. <laughs> Charlotte and I'll be making our way across the dance floor. That's what we'll be doing. Right, there we go. Oh, one short. Would you believe it? Oh, no, there's one there. Perfect. I was thinking, oh, for goodness sake. Right, so there we go. So we've got this one here. Now, what you can do with this is you can either leave them to dry for a little bit, which we will do. We'll come back to it. And then what I've done with these type of cakes before is that I've then brushed the edge of these with like little bits of pink dust, which looks really, really sweet. So you can get some, um, just get a dry brush. You don't need to be wet. Just literally go over the top of that. But we're going to leave that to dry for a bit and let that settle down. Okay, let's bring these back in again. There we go. Right, let's move this out of the way. I've got everything on top of me as usual. Right, now what else do we need to make before we continue? So, we are going to dye this colour. Now Kelly's sat next to me, so I'm going to do pink before she tells me off. <laughs> Can I do pink, Kelly? Actually, give me two colours, Kelly. How about cerise pink and pale pink? So basically, more pink. More pink. Is that I'm okay? I'm just not saying anything. <laughs> everything. Oh, I'm going to pick pink. pink. Pink it is, everybody. So we're going to use colour splash pink. Um, how can I keep a, a birthday cake in the fridge? Though, no, don't keep anything in the fridge. Everything needs to stay at room temperature. I know it's hot, but everything needs to stay out. Just keep everything at room temperature. Or even butter. Yep, you've just got, I mean, you can find, a, I'm sure you'll be able to find in your house somewhere, somewhere that's a little bit cooler, even if you pop it, pop it in a dark room with the curtains drawn, honestly, that will be so much better than putting it in a fridge, because honestly, you can look at a cake in a fridge, now, this sounds like I'm speaking from experience, because I am, um, I put a wedding cake in the fridge once, years and years ago, we are talking like, God, 20 odd years ago now, what well, is wonderful idea of putting this chocolate wedding cake in the fridge, and it looked amazing and then I pulled it out a couple of hours before I went to the wedding and it was dripping with condensation it was horrendous what did you do mop it up with kitchen roll but I would never do it again so please don't put anything in the fridge just a nightmare absolute nightmare so yeah not a good idea and that's from the voice of rip experience here don't do it so I've made um, strongish pink color here let's make it a little bit paler so we'll just add in some white, just tone it down a little bit. Pink will be a change, yeah, shh, don't tell Kelly. Every single time, <laughs> right, I'm going to use rose pink. <laughs> you do have a little moment. I'm going to use pink, pale pink, strong pink and white, is that okay? <laughs> we may as well throw in some more pink. moss green. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to put any green in here, but that's a good idea. Well, actually, no, leaf green is a nice colour. Yeah, is that okay? She's looking at me in horror now. Right, okay, a little bit of white as well. Now, we're going to create a garland this time. So, what we'll do is we'll give that a bit of a knead. So, this is the modelling paste. Um, actually, you could use sugar paste, but modelling will hold better. So, let's roll this out so it's nice and thin. So, you'll be able to see the board between it it's got a few pink bits on it as well but that's okay that'll be fine and then we'll take the smaller bit the pale pink it's very sticky sticking to me I think considering what the weather's doing I think we're doing okay <laughs> I'm still smiling anyway yes somebody's just mentioned the silver balls and you are I was, right I was literally going to say <laughs> the silver balls are coming out everybody don't worry <laughs> <laughs> the return of the silver balls. I've not had them out for a while, have I? It's about time we had them back again. Yeah, don't worry, I've got those on the on the radar tonight. Right. Okay, so let's have that like this. Don't tempt her with more colour combinations that involve pink. pink and navy is very nice, yes. Nikki. That's a very good colour actually. Nice 
Right, there okay. What do I do with those cutters? There they are. So we're going to use a combination of these ones here. Now these belong to PME. They are, I think they're called daisy cutters. They come in a set of four. These are really nice as well. So have a go at that. That particular one. I'm just going to put the lid on this pink because it's kind of like cursed that it will end up in all the wrong places. Oh Everyone stop with your pink recommendation. <laughs> Rory's gone with her fuchsia and pistachio. Right. It's a nice colour combo, I will admit. What is? Fuchsia and pistachio. What about peach and mint? Peach and peach and mint. Mum, look at your walls. Yeah, I know they yeah, are. Peach, peach and, mint. and mint. Okay. Right, we're just going to put this into a piping bag. Pink and yellow. There you go. Pink and lilac, Kelly. Uh, right, let's get an icing thingy out. Adapter. Except I've picked up technical words. The, I know. Icing thingy. Icing thingy. Icing adapter. Because no reason. How well organised. Oh. 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 <laughs> Actually, my I've raised my game with my, my nozzles. I have. I'm going to show you my very fancy nozzle holder. Um, so I'm going to take one of these adapters and just pop this inside the bag, and then I'm going to bring this down here so you can have you can marvel at my little my little holder here. Look at this for organisation. I mean, this doesn't happen <laughs> ever. So let's find one of these. We're going to go PME number two. Let's move that back over there again. Now we've all had a nice chance to look at my flash nozzle holder thingy. Right, let's put that back over there and we'll screw that back on and then we'll put some royal icing in and we'll put the royal icing in that we made earlier, except I've managed to put the palette knife in the royal icing, Kelly. Have you got another one up there? No? No. Okay. You can watch me suffer with this one, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Pale blue and lilac. Pale blue and lilac, yeah. Uh, that, that's like, what is it called? Wisteria. Wisteria. I keep always going to say hysteria, like the Def Leppard song. It's not hysteria. <laughs> hysteria. <laughs> Don't start singing because Facebook will chuck me off if you start singing. Right, okay, let's move this out of the way for the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a one of those cakes that has lots of flowers going around the middle. So we're going to have a go at that. So we're going to take hold of the royal icing and we're just going to a little line along there it doesn't really matter to be perfectly honest and then we're going to use the back end of a paintbrush stretch mummy oh, i know i need to grow my arms need to grow longer so we'll use the back of this one and then what we'll do is we'll take this like so so we've picked that up like that now this doesn't have a plunger in it like the other one so if you have a look at the difference between these two this one is a daisy one from pme can you see it's got that plunger bit in the middle whereas this one doesn't have that it just comes out flat so you need to give this one a little bit of extra help so when you press it down like that you can't then push it in so if you just take hold of the back of your paintbrush and just push it in like that that will make it stand up so that's what you've got to do with that one and then we'll just take the little one and then we'll pop that next to it. And again, just use your backy paintbrush, press that up. Right, now we'll go across here. And we'll do the same again. So we'll have some of the bigger ones here. So again, you could use this for a birthday cake as well, couldn't you? Something like this. Put that down, press. Also, because the sugar paste is soft, it does actually settle in quite well. They've heard you singing now, Kelly. <laughs> Someone's heard you singing now. <laughs> what were you singing I've a minute ago? I've got stuck in my head yeah. right now. I'm trying Shh, we can't so sing hard that. not to sing. I'm it. trying to get Kelly to do some singing TikToks with me. I can't <laughs> sing, that's the thing. Well, we could just mime it. We'll be fine. No, absolutely not. <laughs> right, and then we'll just pop that one in there like so. And we'll put another one around this side. There we go. Put a little one in there. And then what we'll do, because we can, there we go, we'll put another row down there as well, along the bottom. So again, we'll just put a little sort of blob across there. It doesn't really matter what it turns out like, we'll just because we're only using it to stick it down. So we'll put that one in like that. So we'll spread our colours out a bit. We'll put three on this one. That one's gone a bit high, that's okay. Brush and just push it down, just lift it up a little bit, and then we'll go back to the little one. Oh, didn't do that one very well, it got stuck. 
So press it down and then you can move it like that and then you'll feel it cut. What you don't want to be doing is um, pressing these down and then pushing them out onto here and then putting them on your um, cookie cutters, cookie. It's the wrong way round. You need to plunge them onto the cookie. Otherwise you're going to distort the size, distort the shape, not the size, distort the shape. Right, there we go. So then we'll press those down, make them stand like that. Then what we're going to do with this particular one, there we go, very flash, uh, we're going to use, let's move these out of the way, some of these little, what we call these, uh, non-parel things. Oh god, I'm calling everything a thing tonight, aren't I? Kelly, what are these called? White non-parel things. These things. What we call balls. Balls. <laughs> balls. You're worse than me. <laughs> I don't know. Sprinkles. Is uh, it a new cut? It's on the list somewhere. This is the one that. Cut, so I'm just rummaging here. So we have Purple one. Purple cupcake, non pearls pearl. That's it. Now you see, I bought these for a completely. So I'm rummaging here. I'll explain why in a minute. I bought these for a completely different reason. Something to do with Christmas. I know Christmas. We haven't got as far as Christmas yet, but I have. And. Um, yeah, we have near enough sold out super quickly, purely because of this, all these wedding cake cookies, because I showed them on um, using different wedding cake ideas. Right, let me grab another brush here. Hold on. I need a smaller one. Right, now, what we're going to do, can you see these here? They're fun, aren't they? They're not so fun, actually, when you knock them off the table. Then they're, they're not a lot of fun. Oh, no, I thought they were the ones that broke in the bag. Yeah, they were. That's what I said to you. From... No, what I said, no, somebody came into my class once and dropped the whole lot on the floor. Oh. And I spent weeks picking them up and they were driving me crazy. Every time I turned around, there was another one. Right, so we're going to get a little brush and then what we'll do, so we've still got some of this royal icing that we had earlier, and we're just going to kind of tap this underneath these little flowers here. So it's a little bit sticky. Now you can be more precise about this if you want to, but actually, to be honest, I've done all that in the past and it's just as easy to do it this way because it dries out eventually, so it doesn't really matter. So just bring that down a little bit there. And then you get these joyous little things and you just chuck them everywhere. And then what happens is they stick to the icing that you put down. Well, the majority do anyway. Some end up all over the place, but generally they're not too bad. You can also put them into the middle. I'll pick this icing thing up in a minute so you can see it. You can actually put a little bit of um, royal icing in the centre of these if you want to. So you can just pop a little one of these in the middle. That one's got stuck. There we go. Uh, you can be more precise. I know lots of people do these with tweezers and things, but oh, honestly, I can't be doing with this one at a time. So we just put in a few. Just let them stick to the icing that we put down. And if they're still there, Great, if not, don't worry about it too much. There you go, so that one looks works out quite nicely like that. And again, if you want to sort of put a few extra ones moving down, don't you run away from me. <laughs> yeah, a little sharp word with them. Yeah, if you wanted to put a few more coming down, you could always sort of bring a few little extra sort of dabs down here and just take your, then you can start doing them individually if you particularly want to. This is where I always start losing the plot on a live because I can never catch them. I will take photos of these at the end, so if you can't see exactly what I'm doing, I usually put pictures up so you can see. Well, I nearly put that in the wrong bit. Right, let's put a little bit of... You can also pipe these in the middle. What I like about these is, though, they're pearlized, so you get kind of quite a nice finish with these. Piping is fine, but you get more of a matte finish than you do with... There you go, so something like that. Let me pick this up. Got a few escaping around there, but there you go. So you can see that one there. So what we've done there, just to recap on that one, is the Daisy PME, large and small. There we go, it's the large and small one, two different colours. And then we've used um, these non-parel things from Purple Cupcakes, which we've put around it to kind of just soften it up a bit. And it comes out a little bit like Gypsophilia, I think, so it does look quite pretty. So there we go, so we'll put that one down there. So that's that, this is where I discover these little balls are absolutely everywhere. So let's move these out of the way. Okay. Right, let's put those there for a second. Where's the lid? Now oh, I trust myself. They are pretty. Yeah, we've got those on the website, the little tiny ball oh, things. Put the lid up. 
except I say I bought these for a completely different reason and, and now we've ended up <laughs> with using them in everything else but um, so I think they're going to be around for quite a period of time right now this one the return of the silver balls everybody um, a long time ago some of you will remember I did do a cake that had these lines coming down it was back in January sometime um, yeah January we're July now aren't we yeah so back in January so we're going to kind of replicate that here with our silver balls now what can I do with them uh, here somewhere here they are so silver balls with little hearts in them so we're going to replicate that cake now so if you were going to do that as a wedding cake this is now what you would do so you'll see again some of these take longer than others so this one will be a fairly quick one so i've got in here um pme nozzle number two so i'm just going to stick with that one i'm just going to pipe a little line of dots across the bottom here and my fabulous royal icers will all be rushing to do this i'm sure if you fancy having a go at royal icing i do have an online course for it and it's very popular they're a really good group they're all doing really really well so if you ever see any royal icing and think oh gosh no that's unachievable yeah i can definitely get your pipe in don't you worry okay so we're going to do that cross. i'm going to turn that round so i don't end up getting in the way you could actually do this after the lines it doesn't matter particularly i'll just do it before either or is fine And go across like that and then we'll go across this one as well and then what we'll do turn that round I'm covered in royal icing is we will then start putting these little decorations on let's just undo this okay So we're going to pipe some straight lines using piping nozzle number two and then we're going to attach these as we go so let's start up here so we'll start at the top see how much you can see you might not be able to see huge amounts at the moment you might be able to see more as i go down so we'll come down and so i did do a big version of this on sugar and crumbs back in january time and then we we'll use a little silver ball because we because we have we have got them <laughs> and we love them well i do anyway i think they're obsessed with everything okay and we'll put another one in there put that one up a little bit higher and then also in here we've got these little tiny um hearts that are quite sweet as well so you can kind of pop those on as well so let's move down to the next one and then we'll come so different lengths so some of them are quite long a little bit shorter you know something else you could do with this as well you could do a chocolate drip on here in royal icing that's what you could do with this so if you wanted to do replicate whoops replicate a sort of drip cake you could do this on this cookie cutter as well you don't have to do every one with a little thing on it as well you can leave some out we'll put one on that side and leave those other two plain i think put that one up a bit higher there we go and then we'll come down this one here now, of course if there's not enough bling on there for you you can always up your game by spraying it with some glitter or something at the end so again just royal ice pipe nothing particularly complicated come down a bit lower there So what you're doing is basically replicating somebody's cake by doing something like this there we go yeah loads of people on here have done the royal icing class so i think sometimes when people say oh you should do royal icing class it's nice to hear from a student who's actually done it because then i don't need to convince you to do it because they'll do that for you <laughs> it does look familiar doesn't it okay well, people keep mentioning the silver balls and I thought well I better bring them back at some point otherwise they're going to think that I'm an imposter I haven't done the silver balls for a while yeah maybe I'll be doing the lives yeah maybe, maybe it's Kelly all along yeah, it's actually me. <laughs> and then we put another one up there so you go that one's fairly quick to do isn't it so you can kind of let me pick this one up so you can see it oh let's pick that up 
there we go so you can see there what we've done we've pulled some lines down there it's very similar to a cake I did on a live a long time ago if you go across to YouTube Kelly will put the link up for you I'm sure and you'll be able to see this cake done as a full um, pipe and it is really pretty to do it's really really simple and it's really really pretty you don't need many colors literally white and silver and a little bit of pearlescent on here as well makes all the difference so it's again really really quick and doesn't take you very long to do and once you get going with your lines and your piping you can do these really really quickly so that's that one there let's put that down there so we've got two completed ones at the moment now the royal icers amongst you all you know who you are the ones that have done my royal icing course you can actually do some royal icing piping on here if you want to let's move that over there let's see where we are now if you wanted to do that you can um, change your adapter on here or change your nozzle so you can literally unscrew this take your nozzle off and you can switch down to some of the other nozzles that we've used now um, what was I going to use 42 is probably the smallest I've got at the moment so 42 43 C for some of the other royal icers and you can do some lovely royalized piping I'm going to just show you what I've been teaching the others. Everyone's saying they still have a collar to do and they're hanging their hands. Ah! <laughs> they love the collar. They love it, really. I'm going to turn this round this way. I'm not going to turn it around that way because I'm only programmed to do it one way. Um, and I'm just going to show you very quickly what you can do with royal icing. Tempt you, some of you people to come on this lovely course and learn how to do royal icing very quickly. It's a really lovely skill to do royal icing, so if you can stand it, and they just love it when I mention the nozzle number one. <laughs> There'll be a barrage of them now going, no, not nozzle one. <laughs> That's like my torture implement, nozzle one. Um, I'm gonna find nozzle 1.5, but in my lovely new organs there it is nozzle 1.5 there we go um so any of my royal ices that are out there that want to have a go at doing something like this uh, replicating some of the lesson stuff i've taught you you can do this on here and then back across so there's quite a lot of t um, interest in royal icing at the moment a certain famous pop stars just had a royal iced cake so there's quite a Who lot has? Gwen Stefani oh, really? she's just had a massive royal iced cake it's beautiful um, so royal icing is making its way back again at the moment so if you fancy having a go it's much once you've got the basics you'll love it I'll tell you and I have got lots and lots of people on my courses that have never touched royal icing before and now realise that how much joy it is. It's just wonderful stuff. Maybe something for September. Maybe an opportunity to have a go at learning something new for September. I always think that's quite a good time of year to start learning things. I don't know why. Maybe it's a kids back to school thing. What do you think, Kelly? Well, I mean, I don't go to school. Well, no, not anymore, you don't. Um, it's switch nozzles again. Let's go. What have we got over there? We'll go back to five, I think. Oh no, what's that? That's number five. That was four. Let's switch that over. So you can just take your nozzle and switch it over. They all love number one. You said you need to start talking about nozzle number one. It is just like, oh no. So also you can do kind of. Actually, that's. You can do all sorts of different royalised patterns on here. It's up to you. Depends how much space you've got. There's lots and lots of things you can do with royal icing. You can even come down the side if you particularly wanted to, the little shell pipe. So there's all sorts of things. Gosh, this looks like one of those big kind of um, royal wedding cakes now, Kelly. Why? Well, it's got literally everything on it. You could even do a line down here. 
difficult, be careful you don't get it. Knock the bit at the bottom. There you go, something like that. I'll just pick this one up so you can see that. There you go. So you can have a really good look at. Um, it seems everyone says from the Royal Icing course they just put my cookie recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, on the Royal Icing course you get the cookie recipe. That's quite helpful actually, that isn't it Kelly? I'm just going to have to do one more line of piping here because it's now driving me crazy. I need to do, as I can see, more that I need to do now, which means I need a central one up there. So I'm getting carried away now. There we go, full on, full on Royal Ice wedding cake. Look one, this. So, lot <laughs> we're getting a bit carried away here now. So there you go. So you can see, again, you can just take the cookie cut. It doesn't take very long once you start going round with nozzles. It's very, very quick. And this will dry rock hard. Now, if you want it to dry not 100% hard, then what you can do is add in like a teaspoon of glycerin um, to a full batch of Royal Icing, and that will stop it setting completely rock hard. So that's actually quite a good way round of, of stopping that doing. But this will be able to bag this up and it look very pretty. So there you go. Let's put that one down there. Look, we've got three completed now, so that's good. Let's pop those over there. Right, okay, let's have a go at the painting one. So we're gonna bring in our cocoa butter. Let's have a little bit of a reorganization here. <laughs> so have you just read that one I've read yeah. about the lemon drizzle? What's <laughs> that problem, is it? <laughs> oh dear. You like the cherry baked one, don't you, Cal? Oh, that cherry bet one one actually made me cry. It's so embarrassing. I've got a nice little video of Kelly crying over the cherry bake well because she can't eat any cherry bake well because she's got a nut allergy. And then I gave her the I made you cherry bakewells with the sugar and crumbs icing sugar, didn't I? It didn't have any nuts in it. You cried. That was so sweet. Ah. <laughs> right, okay. So for those of you wondering what on earth I'm doing now, this is a chrome food warmer. It's got a heat source underneath it there, which is a tea light. So you can see that. I'm just going to pop a metal paint palette over the top of it, and that's going to get hot. And we are then, she says, going to add some cocoa butter. There it is. Yay. Right, so we're going to put some cocoa butter on there. And we're going to go back to the heart one that we did earlier. We're going to paint that. That's this one. Let's bring this one in. Now, we're going to put you over there so I don't end up knocking it. I'll pop that one in there so you can see it. My hands are covered in royal icing, but that's the most part of the game, isn't it? Um, where's my drink? Let's grab that for a second because it's still hot. Okay, so you can see that starting to melt. And we're going to use... What paintbrush should we use? Let's have a good look. Um, let's use paintbrush number one. So all my paintbrushes are numbered. So there you go, there's paintbrush number one. And that's what I use to teach in my painting classes because then I know what you're doing. <laughs> I can make sure you've got the right paintbrush in your hands. Otherwise, we can end up with the wrong paintbrush. And then we have all sorts of difficulties. I'm going to use zero brush as well, actually, which is Kelly's favourite, if I can actually ever get it off her. That is my favourite brush. That's your favourite brush, isn't it, Kelly? Um, let's have a look at this. I haven't actually studied this yet. There's nothing like painting live for the first time, is there? I'm just wondering where this puts... What would you put with the gold, gold and green? A bit of white. Green? This, not green. What? I'm going to use gold on there. So I was going to do it all gold. Or oh, some bronze in there. You're frowning. Don't frown at me, Kelly. <laughs> Right, this is Carol's Wonder Dust Sparkling Gold. I was just going to tip that out onto there. Now, what I found with Luster Dust is Luster Dust do um, take more cocoa butter than um, matte colours. So, with a matte colour, I mean something like, say, a sugar, sugar flare colour like this one, burgundy, which is matte versus that one. This will use slightly less uh, cocoa butter than a luster dust. So, just bear that in mind. Yeah. Okay, let's just check in my bucket. It's a bit cold over it. Oh dear! Can I eat a cookie? <laughs> no, you cannot eat a cookie. You can come and sit nearer me if you want to. No, you're okay over there. All right, so we're going to get some of this. So we're taking some of the Wonder Dust mixed with the cocoa butter. And then we're going to start by painting this heart in the middle. 
we do all, all gold, Kelly? Hmm? We do all gold. Up to you, Mummy. You seem to have a plan. Why don't you paint the leaves gold and then do the hearts pink? No, because I've already done the hearts pink. Can't you go for uh, the top of them? No, I want to do them gold. I decided they were going to be gold. That was my plan. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now, for those of you that haven't done any cake painting before, um, patchwork cutters is a really good place to start. So with patchwork cutters, um, all you're doing is just embossing your sugar paste and then you are literally just filling it in and painting it. It's not difficult. You see? So it's very straightforward, nothing too complicated at all. Um, what we're going to do here is we're just going to go for the whole thing being gold. So we're just going to follow the patterns around here. But if you wanted to do, say, as Kelly suggested, pink hearts and gold leaves, or you could do the leaves could be green. Gold and burgundy, someone says. Gold and burgundy, lovely. Well, I'm literally just going to follow, and again, same as before, I'll pick it up at the end so you can see it. Um, there you go, someone's put a link up, or Nikki's put the link up for the Wonder Dust, which is on Sugar and Crumbs shop, not mine. So mine tends to consist of glasses and cookie cutters. Cocoa butter. Cocoa butter, that kind of thing. Because we're cocoa nutters. Oh God, don't set her off. Don't set you off, Kelly. I think you've missed not being on a live for a week. I actually really have. <laughs> I thought you'd forgotten earlier today. No. Well, when you said you were off out and then yeah, you... Yeah, I know, I meant after this. Oh, I see. I thought she's forgotten. So you can see how nicely this is going on and how pretty this pattern is without even needing to try too hard. I'm literally just oh, following. You know what you've got on that? Well then, you wound oh, up stuck to the chair. You've stuck to the chair. What are you going over there for? Can I? Don't you the not that candy floss heart sprinkles? I don't know if there's any over there. Oh god, you worry me. You're near the camera. Oh, they haven't got any gold ones. I'm gonna say I don't think they're gold. Nice, we just don't knock that camera, Kelly. All right. <laughs> Kelly's moving around. Is it freaking me out? Okay, here we go. How's that looking? We miss you, Kelly. That's what they say. Aww. <laughs> oh, Maureen's quickly jumped back in there and said she misses us both. <laughs> that was a good recovery. <laughs> Oh dear. She heard you read the comment and was like, oh, wait, I need to change it quick. Oh, I know. It seems like I've been off forever, actually. I miss, yeah, I miss it too, actually. I think you miss the chat, don't you? I do miss the chat. Okay. Now, sometimes with these wedding cakes as well, you see like a whole layer that's been done. So you'll have like a bit on there and then you'll have another layer um, that's up a bit higher up here that would then be a, a flat layer of the same colour so we're going to try that as well but we're going to use a bigger brush so I'm going to turn that round and um, we're going to use a flat two which is another one of my brushes because it's wider except it's got green in it at the moment we don't want green in it let's get rid of that so this is a flat two so it's a bigger brush and you can literally go straight across and get a better coverage so we're going to get some of this luster in here and we're going to paint one layer gold completely and then we're going to leave the other top tier white because it's very typical of these wedding cakes at the moment what they actually look like in terms of that heart cluster I've just realized now on our Christmas jumper cutter you could make it into a leather jacket and you could press that into the back of it really you yeah, because that heart thing, if you painted it like red and did oh, like, I you see. could make it into a biker jacket. Ah, a oh, I am so smart. <laughs> you know what you're doing though, you're busy stitching yourself up on a live because that means I'm going to make you do it, Kelly. Oh, okay. it seems that my ships at the bubble tea shop have gotten <laughs> much, much more. There we go. So you're getting really nice coverage on that. Can you see the way that and then you would just leave that top one there 
white so if you look at lots of wedding cakes online they do seem to have one layer that is a full color and then a, a copy of the color further down and then a white one on top so this is really common um, so have a look at it and see what you mean but in terms of the luster dust or the wonder dust going on really quickly just use a little bit of a wider brush when you want to get a full coverage on something along those lines and then if you wanted to go wild with it you could always put in some of those little tiny Perel things as well and add those in right let's move that over there and then we'll go back to this one but I can't remember what I was doing with this one I've got to go back to my notes and have a look what was I doing with this one Cal? I'm oh. on fire today apparently yeah isn't she just <laughs> right we're gonna um, just make some little roses using this mold here now this is called tiny decorations and it's got basically tiny decorations there's a bow and a butterfly a lock and key um, little tiny heart flowers roses cherries there's all sorts of different things that you can do on here so all I'm going to do and you do need to use the modeling paste which I've probably buried somewhere there it is um, not sugar paste it doesn't come out very well with sugar paste you're on fire Kelly honestly so I'm going to take some of the modeling paste that we used for the flowers over there and just press that into there like so bend it back and you're going to get a tiny little rose can you see that like that on there and then we can take hold of that and we can just put a little blob of icing there put one on there like so and do another one And then press that one in there. I've got unusual coloured hands, Kelly, today. I haven't been. Me? No, I have. Oh, yeah, I was like looking at my hands. I know, and I haven't been near the edible printer today, so there must be something else that's got me today for sure. Right, and then, um, where's that pink? Oh, hold on. What have we got in here? I've got a whole stash of these wonder dust. Let's try this one. I don't know if this is going to work though. What colour is this? How bright is it? Mm, might work let's try it okay so this one is called what is this called wonder dust shimmer pink which i put there and i'm not going to add the cocoa butter to that i'm going to just try and dust it on buff it i'm going to fluff it kelly oh i said buff but fluff, <laughs> fluff it did you say buff yeah <laughs> oh dear <Why? laughs> right okay here we go so we're just going to put a little bit of brushes this, brush number three. So you could do initials on the heart, someone says. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with this is just literally go across sort of like the, the sort of outside tips of these. I'm just going to hold it up. Yeah, that's fine. And just kind of catch the edges of these. which I've done on wedding cakes quite a few times. It looks very pretty. So you don't need too much, just a little bit. Okay. You see that going on? If you wanted to pipe roses, by the way, for these cookie cutters, not use this, there is, again, if you go to YouTube, go back to my YouTube channel and put in, you'll see there's one, I can't think what that class was called now, something like piped roses or something obvious, and there's a little tutorial on there as well, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Cute, they're like little blossoms. So you approve, Kelly, do you? Yeah. Right, let's put that down. Then what you can do, now if you wanted these to be the same colour, you could just take a little bit of the colour to kind of match it through. So if you wanted to put a little bit on there, you can. And then you could get your other brush, which is a zero. Yeah! What you, is there any woodland green in there jumping out at you? Oh. Oh, you are good. That first one I picked first up. First one you pick up. I'm rummaging. Okay, let's put... <laughs> I 
I've just read Nikki's comment about not being able to do the toothpick to save her life. <laughs> don't worry, Nikki, I don't think I could do it either. I haven't tried though. I was just about to say, I'm going to make you try tomorrow. Oh, I'm not patient enough. And then if you just take a little bit of green, you can do your own leaves if you want to. So if you wanted to paint some leaves on, you don't have to use cutters. So. I might not breathe for a minute. Full speak. So you can just turn that round a bit so we can get to it. So if you wanted to paint your own greenery, you can. I'm going to breathe in and out occasionally. <laughs> like that. So I've got my zero brush going here, nothing else. So you can do as much or as little as you want. You can always pipe them if you don't want to do them with paint. If you don't want to paint them, you can always use um, piping nozzle S51, which is another one that you can use for doing leaves. So if you don't fancy painting, have a go at doing leaves with royal icing. You've appeared. Yeah, sorry. Why are you, see, well, I'm getting a bit bored of the delay, so I've got to <laughs> have a look. The anticipation is killing you, mm. Kelly, is it? Okay. Is yeah, all right? yeah, it's fine. I just looked up when you were standing there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right, I put my arm on the stuff. Okay, that's fine. Now, with this, you can, if you wanted to turn these back into flowers, you could always pipe little kind of dots in the middle. But actually, I think as is, it doesn't really need much else anyway um, on there. So I think that's absolutely fine. As it is. Do you approve, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you approve? Good. Yeah. Right, okay, so there we go. Cute. Cute, Kelly. Look, we've got a full on royalised one. We've got a, a painted, that's everything I had on my list, I can't remember now. Yeah, I think so. on the list. Yeah. Oh no, the other one was that one with the floral bit on the bottom, wasn't it? If that was behaving. Is it? I don't know if it's still behaving. Yeah, it seems to be. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. Let's move that out of the way. And Kelly and I are just talking about what we're doing. So, one more, and then we're going to show you one of the new cutters that's just come out. We're actually going to do it with the same thing. So, this one here is. Um, I'm going to just take hold of some of this. Marie says mine are cabbage roses. Now, if it's a cabbage, it's because you can probably see the cone. There's a nice little saying if you can see the cone, then you've got cabbage. If you can't see the cone, then you haven't got cabbage. Maureen, can you see your cone? <laughs> let's move that one over there. Okay, right, let's move this. I'm getting in a right muddle here. I clearly need some more practice doing lives again. I've completely got, I'm out of, this, <laughs> I'm out of the routine, what am I doing? Help me. Right, I'm just gonna cover this one. I'm just gonna show you one more technique to, with this. Then we'll show you the new one of the other new cutters, especially relevant right now. Right, so I'm rolling it slightly off the side here because I've got all this going on here. Right, let's see if I can make a. I've just got trapped around with royal icing now. Oh God, I'm falling apart here. Right, let's see how we're doing. Okay, perfect. Right, so we'll do one more. Look at the a range. I'm going to show you the other ones too as well that I did a couple of weeks ago and the ones I did on Saturday morning. So I've got a massive range of these now. Right, let's put that on. Okay, so some of the other wedding cakes that are around, um, they tend to have these um, printed floral patterns on them. So we're going to do one of those. Hold on a minute. I've buried them and there it is. Right, 
so we're just going to put our lines back in again like so put that one there and then what we've got just looks like chaos and every time i look up on the screen it's like chaos <laughs> oh my god ah. i need to get myself organized here hold on a minute I've got about two inches of space to work in here. Right, let's put that wonder dust out of the way so I don't get in the middle of that. Right, okay. So, printed floral sheets. I've had these um, out quite a lot recently with cookies as well, and various other things. So let's take hold of this. Now, what we're going to do here, we're gonna use an edible black pen so we don't end up putting on something we shouldn't put on. And I'm going to just draw around this cutter and across the bottom onto this edible paper there we go like so then plastic side scraper Kelly is there one over there? no? because I tied it up so beautifully I... oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, every time I stand up I wonder what you've been doing over it <laughs> I'll go, no, it's alright, I'll cut straight across, don't worry. That's fine. Oh, I found one. Have you got one? Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, no, it's fine, don't long worry. Long one, long one. No, I'm going to go straight across. Right, that's fine, I've done it. I think I'm slightly off camera at the moment, though. Here we go. So. Even Royal Ison and Fondant. What? Wait, hang on. Royal Ison and Fondant, I'm conscious that leaving them too dry for too long might let them go stale no you're not gonna have a problem with that oh the cookies no. yeah just don't put a thick layer of the royal icing like yeah when you put this on don't pile on the royal icing okay just put a little bit of royal icing on you'll be fine honestly absolutely fine have some confidence in it the icing sheets vary um i'm going to link you kelly's to the page kelly's going to link some um water right i've got some and of course I've got a paintbrush with gold on it, which I definitely don't want. Right, what's this brush? Oh, look at this. Look at me, misorganised here. Okay, so we're going to paint across here. Like so. And then you can pop that one on the bottom. Do you want it that way around or I want it the other way around? I want it that way around, I think. I'm being fussy now. If I don't, I want it that way around. No, I want it that way around. <laughs> Just ignore me. There we go. I want it that way around. That's the way I've decided. So, yes, you can put on floral sheets as well. Again, these are very popular on weddings at the moment. Again, you can make a nice little flower to go with it. You could take your piping. I've got the wrong nozzle in here. Let's change that again to what have I got here. Oh, no, God, not that one. Not, not 1.5. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's do number two again. I need it's got stuck got, oh there's a scriber fantastic right let's unblock that so you can then pipe your dots across there a little bit of shell piping or something just to kind of split it up another one there these don't tend to have like pearlized layers or anything. They tend to be very simple, literally like that. You might get one little white rose on it maybe. Um, but other than that, you don't tend to get a lot on these ones because the feature, I guess, is the bottom, isn't it? More than anything else. So that's kind of, oh, what have I got here? Oh, lovely. Let's use a little bit of this. So you might just get one tiny little rose or something, but nothing too drastic. So let's put a little white white rose on there because we can something like that they tend to be very simple not a lot more than that on those very straightforward and um, easy with that right now I'm gonna have a moment just tidying up so I can then show you the other wedding cake cookies that I made and then I will show you the new cutter that I've got which came out last week some of you have picked up on it already let me just move a few things because quite honestly it's chaos and <laughs> I'm quickly tidying up. You can see me tidying up a little bit, not too bad, but I literally have nowhere else to put anything now. So it's kind of got to that point here. Let me get rid of this so I don't end up. Right, let's put that there. Right, let me move this out of the way and then we'll get you the other ones to look at. There, Kelly. 
Nothing. What's in there? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going for a trip falling over? <laughs> Luckily the camera's not on me, Kelly, so that's fine. Right, okay, let's have a little look. So we've got a full wedding shop going on here now. So these are the ones we've done tonight. Let's see if we can get them all on at the same time. Hold on. Have you blown that candle out and it's not just like burning, right? No, I have blown it out because otherwise you and I will forget. So let's move those up there. So these are some of the ones that we did before I went on holiday. And then we've got some of the ones I've done on Saturday mornings as well move that out of the way so I don't knock that over so let's have a look at these ones first so these are all the ones we've done tonight these two here so this was done with the blossom now which one was this done with patchwork cutters I've lifted them up a bit this one here is patchwork cutters part of blossom and leaf mm. um, it's got this lovely little trail in there and again we've gone a bit wild with these um, non pareils because we're just very keen on those at the moment this little decoration here is also from the tiny decorations so that's that one on there so let's have a look what I'm going to do is move that one there and bring the other one in so you can have a look at what we did a couple of weeks ago in say some Saturdays so on this one here we've got again blossom and leaf which I've just pressed into the sugar paste then painted and used the little roses from tiny decorations. This one here I did, now this is a really popular one, if you look around the internet you're going to find this as a wedding cake, I've already been asked to do it several times actually, um, it's a peachy coloured wedding cake and then we've used the little roses again and we've piped instead of painted um, using S51, ST51 piping nozzle. Um, and then we've put down a combination of piped and some of the little non prels on here as well So the little tiny balls this one is with bunting. So we've done this one with um, Using some of the floral sheets like we just had this is the pink and blue floral sheet Someone just asked what kind of bag would you or how would you package these? You can either package them all open in like we've got um, cookie boxes with clear lids that are quite good um, you can put them in individual bags if you want to into clear plastic bags um, with, so, a bit of ribbon or something with a bit of ribbon something along those lines anything like that as long as they're dry okay they've got to be dry because otherwise you're gonna have all sorts of problems with them um, this one here is a marble one so we did this one with some marble sugar paste again some little roses little bit of piping this one we just threw everything at it literally <laughs> all the non pareils and then a little tiny heart um, gem that came from a, a um, cut, oh no, what was that cutter called? Multi gem cutter, so it's a little mould. And then this one here is a bow mould, which is just the most loveliest mould ever. And this is an FPC bow mould, which has got literally everything under the sun on it. It's so lovely, it's so versatile, this mould, I love it. Um, and again, we've just used that as a bow and then just used these non pareil things, we've been throwing out everything. <laughs> as you can literally see um, so we have done a huge number of wedding cakes look at that lot even I'm stunned about how many I've done to be perfectly honest let's bring those down a little bit don't think I'll get them all on the screen at the same time so I'll have to take lots of photos of them so you can see them huge amount of things you can do with these you can go full-on royal icing you can go full-on um, just little flowers all sorts of different things you can paint them you can pipe them you can cut out things you don't have to be the best cake decorator to be able to do these you can literally just throw everything at them and have you know make some really really pretty designs on here so i think they're just really versatile more than anything else that's what i'm saying um but the other new cookie cutter that we've got and i'm going to show you this before i disappear so i'm going to move this out of the way so i don't end up knocking it over is relevant because it's sunny. Kelly, can you see if there's any actual cookies in that box down there that's on that tray? Swimsuit. <laughs> Just one. Madam Kelly came up with the idea of doing a Baywatch one, didn't you? <laughs> so this is my new um, cookie cutter that came out last week. It is actually a swimsuit. Again, there's lots of different things you can do with it. You can use the floral sheets. So if you wanted to put your floral sheet onto here and have a nice flowery swimsuit. You can just line it all up on here, decide where you want all the floral bits to go. I'm gonna do that while I'm talking and doing this. Kelly came up with the idea of it being a Baywatch one. Yeah. <laughs> so if you wanted to do a Baywatch swimsuit, you just need to cut out a red one. It's nice and easy, actually, to be honest with you. Um, 
there's all sorts of things you can do with this and if you go online and look at all the swimsuit designs that are available you can actually do loads and loads of this and quite seasonably fun I think right now especially as it is absolutely baking hot at the moment if you fancy making some swimsuit cookies to take on a picnic or something then this is a good idea to do it as I say you can do all sorts of different ones they don't have to be floral like I'm doing but I thought I would show you this because it's fun and something a bit different and again it doesn't have to be all about weddings does it so you can literally do the same as what you've just done with that other one so just go round you can even turn this into a bikini I think if you just if you were clever but well, I'm going to be doing some different things with this in the next couple of weeks so before the sun goes in in typical UK fashion by the time I finish doing all this the sun will be <laughs> going in again won't it so we've got to be quick for this one so we have got some of these in stock because I've made sure that we have got these in because obviously I want you to get these done before the sun goes in um, so if you do want them we've got them at the moment so again just come around there but you could do we've got another pattern on the um, website the, do you know which one I think would be really good is that blue and white daisy one that we've got that we've got on the cookie cups and fan yeah get my fan cookie cutters out just to cool you down a bit <laughs> right okay so you don't have to be uber creative to do these you can just literally now you've got to take the backing off you see that comes off like that just get rid of that I'm stuck to everything under the sun here it is very hot in here right let's move that out of the way and then I'm going to just cheat actually a little bit and just put some icing down here because I've moved my bowl now out of the way so I'm just going to literally run a bit of icing down here take a little bit of sugar paste So sugar paste on first. Don't put the um, don't put that straight onto the cookie. You need to mount it with a little bit of sugar paste. It doesn't have to be the most thickest bit of sugar paste ever, but you do need to put some down. Okay, I'll pop that on there. A little wiggle. Take that off. there and then you just take hold of that let me just cut that bit down because I can see a bit black on there let's take that off hold on I'm trying to trim it here is the um oh no, so I've seen it okay it's fine just take a little bit of water pop that over that so it's tacky don't make it wet okay just tacky can you see it? If I tip it, you'll be able to see that it's literally just tacky. All right, I've taken the back off. Be careful you don't get water on this because if you do, it will just take the pattern straight off. And there you go, a nice little fun swimsuit there. And make sure you don't have any hairy edges. No hairy edges, can he? What Donna said. <laughs> there you go. You've got a little fun swimsuit there as well. So you could always do some nice Baywatch ones or something. If you wanted to do those, you would just cut those out in red and then you'll be fine like that. So there you go, a little swimsuit. Put that one there, done. Right, here I am, I'm still here. <laughs> oh, well it's been, I've moved actually. I'm not in the middle anymore. I must have slid all the way down the other end of the table doing all of that. Well, thank you very much for joining me this evening for um, my return after the holiday. So I hope you've had a nice evening watching all the lovely cookie cutters that we've got going on at the moment. And it's nice to do something seasonal, isn't it? So weddings it is, weddings and swimsuits at the moment. Um, so I will be back again on Tuesday at half past six. I will be live on Saturday mornings, but not for very long this week, because again, it's wedding season, but I will put a little announcement up over on that one when I get round to it, when I've worked out what time I'm delivering my wedding cake. Um, 
I've had the lovely Kelly with me this evening. Thank you. <laughs> She's still awake. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us again this evening. We'll be back on Tuesday at half past six next week. I'm not too sure what we're doing yet. Let's see how hot it is first and then we can work it out from there. But um, have a lovely evening, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. It's nice to be back again. <laughs> um, they miss you missed it, Kelly. Thank you. Kelly missed it, I think. <laughs> She missed it. Thank you very much, and I will see you all next Tuesday at half past six. Take care. Bye.